Jeff Wade saw. He used steroids and bro, I'ma look like this forever. Right. Cause I grind for it. Mm. Oh, right there, 90 degrees. Now from there, check my back. Close the shoulder up and back and back. Knee. Knee. Come all the way down this time. All the way down, dead hand. Hold right there. Now up. Hold. Up. Halfway down. Right there, hold. Up. Because for me, when I do push-ups, if I especially if I'm on a hard surface, yeah. my wrist be killing me. And I'm a ball player. It's a band. It's a lot of band. A lot of band work. Grab the bands. Stretch it. That's it. Take a like. You can take a towel. Put a towel right here. Grab a bottle of water. Right here. Strengthen back. Don't let the towel fall. Yeah. Don't let the towel fall. And just here. Strengthen the rotator cuff back up. Muscle under tension for a time period. You see what I'm saying? So like, I'll never be able to get the same rep count. Like, I might do a, a, a set of push-ups. My first set of push-ups might be like 130. Because I can in like a minute, two minutes. And when I feel like I can't go no more, that'll be my first set. I can show you a couple exercises right now that you can do without weight, and you'll get a better burn. Do a quick little run through real quick. It's like basically how I work out. All right. I have to show, you know, a little calisthenics workshop. What's your name, brother? My name is James. James? Yeah, yeah. From where? From Durham. Durham, North Carolina. North Carolina. Shout out to the South, man. You already know. Get off the floor, you should be ready. So it's gonna be a pull push routine back and forth. Community, you know what I mean? Yeah, we out here. <laughs> All up in the videos. <laughs> that's what it's all about. It's all about that mental strength. I agree. Man, this is all about. Oh, Scott Bernhard. Yeah. Go City, what's happening? I already know. I am the proof. All grind, no gimmicks, man. Yeah. Listen, from the city to the dirt road, I'm there, bro. I know the back roads. I don't know. That's all I know. Get a muscle up, man. Oh, I can't. Five. Come on, five. Money. Deep, 15. Nobody got no food. Nobody got no food. Little elbows towards the rib cage. That's the point. The squeeze. I thought that was cheating. You engage it. I heard you. Exactly. That's how you engage your lat. Like, people rely on their arm to do pull ups. That's not where the power comes from, bro, because you got to remember. Pull-ups is a back exercise mainly. Yeah. So once you engage and you're pulling your lat, your elbow down towards your lats, yeah. you engage your back. Yeah. You let, your, let your arms be your secondary mo movement. Your lats are main thing. That's why, like, if you learn how to engage the muscle of the back, you made like way longer, bro, because like you rely on your arms last. Yeah. Right. Pointed out that quick. It was like my third joint. You like yo, engage your lats more. Yeah. He seen it. 
so pretty much you say like form follows function like Fact. the form once you once you get that mind muscle connection and you know what you're working and why you're working it like the attention is in the detail yo point it out that quick it was like my third joint you like yo engage the last more yeah. you seen it pretty much you say like form follows function like Fact. the form once you once you get that mind muscle connection and you know what you're working and why you're working it like the attention is in the detail yo appreciate being able to be a motivation bro like been through where i come from like this shit saved my life bro like i used to be a different type of individual bro like to look like this but i can remember being in high school yo like they wouldn't even let me play sports because i was too small or like my first year playing high school football like they had to get my helmet from the kids store i couldn't even fit none of the high school helmets bro how old you are right now i'm 38. Right. When I started working out, it's like I was 19. I weighed 119 pounds. Three times a day eating. I was sleeping a lot. What you working eating? out? You already said shrimp and grits. Yeah. What else you eating? Like I, I try to, I do my best to stay away from the red meat. A lot of chicken, fish. I eat sweet potatoes. You know what I'm saying I eat. I always eat my vegetables and my own food. You know what I'm saying. Be eating junk food, like snacks, cakes, little devil shit. Oh yeah, bro, it's a corner store, pizza shop, chicken spot, everywhere you turn. I might not have too many options, bro. It's been times where I needed something quick. I'm hungry. I run to the store and buy me a honey bun, yeah. but I buy me a banana too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Off. And I don't let it sit. Like I eat it and go about, go about my daily day. day. You see what I'm saying? I work it off. Like I punish myself for eating sweets, but I ain't gonna tell you I don't. I'm human. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You see what I'm saying? That five was too bad, I took a long break. Come down a little bit more, man. <laughs> My fault. Yo, I know. <laughs> Yo, y'all used to be talking. <laughs> I got you. Put your hip down a little bit more. Right there. Yeah. Now put your nose toward the floor. Perfect. Good money. Right there. Spread your fingers out. Spread your fingers out. Now you have a better grasp on the on the. Yeah, there we go. Push up. Don't think of yourself as pushing up. You're trying to push the floor down. Use your palm, that's how you engage the chest. Push your palms down, you'll feel it. You'll feel the difference in the muscles contracting. When you use your palms to push, you can feel the hair more. Yes, and you're gonna use your arms. You'll feel the hair more. Yeah. When you use the front of your hand, you feel the hair in your, your forearm, your bicep. But when you spread, bro, and you use your palms to push, and right there. You see how yeah, you see how it tense up? Because yeah. I'm using my palms, so I'm engaging my lat, my black, my back, and my chest. Bro. Ah. Not me. Not me. Once. Let's get it. Come on. Ah. Let's get it. Ah. Three. Ah. Four. Ah. Let's go. Hey, yo, I got a kick for this one, y'all. Don't mess this shit real. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Five. All right. Palm action. Uh, Let's get it. I am the proof. 20. Oh, ah! Come on. Easy, man. Easy work. Easy work. For the glory, let's get it. Come on. Ah! That's where the money's at. That's where the money's at. Damn. That's the first time I ain't been able to peel out. I had to peel off, bro. You don't want my soft shit. Come on, let's go. Go. Give me five. Oh, okay. Oh, you took my five. More money for you. More money for you. Let's go. North Carolina, let's go. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Up there. Ah. Ooh. Come on, dip. 
Come on. Okay. With the Yankee Stadium in the background. Looks all nice. I'm down, shake it off, yeah. I see how y'all do this shit. How you feeling so far? Y'all, I'm honored, man. I appreciate this shit. God, I even was able to encounter y'all brothers, man. man. Damn, yo. Y'all got influence. Man. Thank you, bro. That power. I appreciate it, Feel me? You just say that to me, because, like, bro, at the end of the day, I'm just like, yo, I'm a father, bro. Right. Like, I hear that shit. I hear it a lot, like, yo, you just, bro, I'm a father. Like, I, I take so much pride in that. Like, when I let it be known, and people are like, yo, you a great father, too. Like, now, like, that shit, like, that's appreciation, bro. Right. Like, right. the fact that you was like, yo, bro, I'm on it, bro. Like, I'm on it to be a part of your journey. King, shout Look, out. This how I know y'all, King. Y'all ain't even have to introduce me and welcome me to this. Yeah, Y'all had your own vibe going on. Listen, man, collaboration over competition, man. We, we've, been, we've been separated for far too long as black men. We, now it's time for us to come together. Because we've been separated for far too long as black men. Now it's time for us to come together. Listen, doing the same thing and expecting a different result is insanity. So why don't we try something different? Right. Unity. Right. It's not Accountability. Yeah. With one another. Yeah, that's you right. know what I'm saying? You down all the way down south who know y'all and follow y'all. Heavy, like, be it. We ain't even got all the calisthenic parts like y'all got, but the few we got, they just got y'all YouTube. They got their phone right there on YouTube watching y'all. Oh, they work out. Doing what y'all doing. All right. I don't even know if y'all know that, but that's how it's going. They just got their phone right there, iPhone parked up on the fence. Oh, that's how they doing it? Are they doing 10 in a minute? 50 in a minute? Wow. You know what I'm saying? All right, all do right. that. It's crazy. All right, bro. Like sometimes when I get out, like when I get out and about, and I get in it, like shit, bro. like I blink out. I try not to keep, like, I don't let the time be be a factor. Like I just be like, yo, let me go ahead and get this shit over with. I already know what the number is. So it's like, the closest I get to the number, the closer I can goddamn go sit down. Cause yeah. I, know, I, know the, I know the wear and tear. It's in your body. Cause like, I'm to the point now where I don't work out. You see what I'm saying? I train. Difference is like working out is killing time. You work out to kill time. You see what I'm saying? When you training, bro, you tap in a different way. And and training, like you train your body, not just your body, but your mind for any and everything that you encounter. Like if you can stick to training, you can apply that shit to anything. You see what I'm saying? Oh fuck, I need a new job. I ain't get the job. But I'm trained to get what I want. So you continuously search, you continuously grind until you get a job. You don't get a job, you make a job. A lot of people fall off from reaching their goals because they, they choose to work out. They don't choose to train because when you start training, that shit becomes a lifestyle. I was church. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was church, church right there. I promise you, niggas ain't gonna believe I met y'all, bro. Man. Let alone worked out with y'all niggas. Yeah. They gonna believe it because they gonna see it. They gonna see yeah. it. They gonna see it. All of us gonna post it. Yeah. yeah. Gonna, what's your Instagram? Crazy thing is, I deactivated my joint like two months before the pandemic just to get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Yeah. I found y'all on YouTube. Man, I ain't find y'all through Instagram. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? I seen y'all through Instagram. Man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come all the way down this time. All the way down, dead hand. Hold right there. Now up. Hold. Up. Halfway down. Right there, hold it. Three, two, up. Two, up. Halfway down. Three, two, up. you want when you pull. So when you grab the ball, you shrug your shoulder up and then down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
That's how you engage your back through the whole pillar. So now come down. Now roll your shoulders up and behind you. Ah, before you even pull up. Roll your shoulder up. Now, yeah. Yeah. So now you're using more of your back to pull up in your arm. Now use your arm to pull. You engage the muscles different. Yeah, more easy. That's primary. Yeah. On secondary. Yeah, right. I've been doing shit wrong all the time. Now you ain't been doing it wrong. Say no better. It's like it's not doing it wrong. Engaging different muscles now, like knowing what to focus on to target whatever muscle group you want to focus on. Arms to build. You can do your push-ups relying on. Your, I mean, your pull-ups relying on your arm. There's nothing wrong with that because you're still going to engage the back. But to put that emphasis on it. You gotta learn how to engage the back muscle. Doing nothing, bro. Like I'm standing here just like this. My back is relaxed right now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Same thing here. I pull my elbows back toward each other. My back is engaged. When I drop, you see I'm using more back muscle. And that's how I do my pull up. I squeeze my blades together. You see what I'm saying? To engage the muscle. Yeah, like that was crazy. Yeah, that's it. You can put something inside this when you went up. Yeah. See that, John? <laughs> I ain't seen that before. They say I got an animated back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They say I got an animated back, bro. Like I'm supposed to be on a cartoon. I'm telling Piccolo my main man, though. They ain't know. Like, Piccolo is one of the reasons why I still wrap my head in the day, bro. Like, watching Piccolo when I was younger. So, like, damn. You know, my ears is kind of big and pointy, so I used to be like, so always tie stuff around my head to hide my ears, but I saw a piccolo, I'm like, oh, all right. I don't look too funny, I just ain't green. <laughs> but when I'm out here working out, I turn green, that's my power. There you go. Piccolo fused with Kami yeah. and, and Nail. <laughs> perfect. Like that. Now, perfect, now, now, now let your elbows come out and show, let me show you what you feel. Oh, see what I'm saying? That's <laughs> right feel it on your shoulder. Yeah. When a push up is targeted to work your chest, your back, your tricep, and your bicep. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you always want that arrow form. Push ups, if I, especially if I'm on a hard surface, yeah. my wrist be killing me. You know I'm a ball player. So you know I why your wrist be hurting? Because when you're doing your push up, uh -huh. you're leaning forward. So you're using this part of your hand to push up versus your palm. If you're here, and you pushing through your palm, you're pushing a weight. You see what I'm saying? Your palm allows you to push a weight versus using the top of your hand, pushing down over. So you bend in your wrist versus pushing all of the tension off your wrist. You see what I'm saying? So you always use your palm to push. Cause like, look, when I, the arrow, you see what I'm saying? Right. If you're here and you're coming out, now you're putting strain on your wrist versus your elbow sinking back. Now look at my wrist. You see how it's straight? There's no weight on it from here. There's no weight on it. So when you push up, you push the pain, and you push all of your weight away from your wrist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so then I was I was like, you like this, that. I was like this. Yeah, this. so now you're putting all of that pressure there, and you're using this part of your hand to get up. So that keeps the pressure on your wrist. It keeps your hand bent like that. Versus when you push your hand from here, you push, the, you push your palm back out. Anytime, bro. <laughs> An outward push up. Turn your palms out this way. You right. see what I'm saying? Because from here, you still get the arrow. Versus if you're here and you let your elbows go out, yeah. now you're putting all kind of strain here. Fuck your shoulder up immediately, bro. Right. You don't even gotta go down. Like, yeah, soon as you start the motion, you feel that shit right there. Yeah. Elbows. Easy. Too. It's easy. You couldn't do nothing. Right. I'm talking How you about stretching. Yeah, stretching, doing a lot of stretching, and using resistant bands. Band work, grab the bands, stretch it. That's it. Take a, like, you can take a towel, put a towel right here, grab a bottle of water, right here, strengthen back. Don't let the towel fall? Yeah, don't let the towel fall, and just here. Strengthen the rotator cuff back up. What you want to say, brother? Man, like, real talk is, uh, really follow these dudes right here, man. Real right, look. I'm from the city, right hand of God. I'm from Durham. Probably about two, three months ago, I got in, got in the calisthenic joints. I've been working out my whole life, but I wanted no calisthenic joints. So I typed in calisthenics, and then I typed in New York because I was coming up for my birthday. 
they popped up. I've been following them. If I'm following y'all probably like the last two, three months. But the workout, these real brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's the real thing. Like, these real brothers. Can't hide who you truly are. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like, good people gonna be good people. They really turn it bad once they get the once they get the love. You know what I'm saying? Look, uh, see that's, that means they were good. That means yeah. they wasn't good at all, bro. Cause yeah. you gotta remember, no matter how many times you take a crown off a king, he's gonna be the king. Cause you gotta put the crown back on. Him. Like good energy, good people gonna always be that. No matter what they go through, they're not gonna let it reflect on who they are. Sorry, bro. Like knowing half of what I've been through, half of what I still go through to this day. And if you knew. My backstory, you wouldn't believe that I'm this invited, like I'm this welcome. Like you'll be like, yo, ain't no way, ain't no way you went through that. The energy you say you got, just keep yeah. giving it. Cause you like, you might know how you motivate somebody, but real talk, you don't know. Able to touch somebody in that, in that, in that light, bro, like that should mean a lot. You know it's like saying? a new outlet, bro. Like, like this is my calling. Like this is my job. My job is to touch somebody, to steer somebody in a different path, bro. Cause I've been down the wrong path. I, I've done the negative. You see what I'm saying? So me doing what I'm doing now, coming from the negative, but what I'm doing and be like, yo, you know what? I ain't about to stand in this hallway. I ain't about to stand in this block. I'm about to go hit the balls. Go to the parks all the time. A lot of little kids, you know, they play with the phones all day. So like, I get kids seeing me like, yo, oh, that's him off YouTube. Like, I take my little girl to the park and they be like, oh, your daddy, your daddy is a celebrity. I'm like, girl, I'm not a celebrity. 8.2 <laughs> million, 8.2 million. Shout out to that's 8.8. Oh my, 8.8. <laughs> 8.8, 8. 8. 8. shout out to that's your money, man. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, yeah. bro. We deserve to oh, have yeah. each other, man. I appreciate that. Yes. Anytime, lot, man. bro, you know. Anytime. And you gave me a little pump, so I'm about to go time to <laughs> Yeah, yeah, facts, facts, oh, facts. Man. facts yeah, man, man, listen, man. Stay up, man. It's your boy Scott Bernhard. Rate, comment, like, share, subscribe. Shout out to him, man. I am the proof. Out here, man. That was a fire calisthenic introduction, fire calisthenic workshop. Listen, man. Move. A little bit of this. Little yeah, a little, bit of yeah. But we're going we gonna to get the interview in the future. But definitely, oh, check out my back. boy. Always, like, man, we could tap in and do it this week, bro. Like, oh, let's get it. Hey, play Scott. It's the loaded one. James Bond, Golden Gun. Can't touch this MC who go more hammer than Odin's son. You know this. But then again, they ain't recognize Oprah once. But your man going out like Clips couch when the sofa sunk. Is this quantity of quality? Queens dealer on a holler street. Going tell me about a dope run. I'm Chinatown Opio. You don't want this smoke, but 